Elliot, thank you very much for joining me here in the aftermath of the first day of the Argus Oil Market Product Extravaganza Forum of 2022. It's been quite a morning, hasn't it? It has indeed, yeah, it has been a morning. We've heard well, all sorts of things on quite a broad range of topics today from um, how old benchmarks are transitioning to how um, products benchmarks will be guarded going forward uh, and then on transitions, just the transition of the market, you know, the, the transition to cleaner, greener fuels and, and the role that sort of alternative liquid fuels will play in that. It's been a really broad session. It has. I think we knew from the very outset that there was going to be a lot of emphasis on the decarbonisation and the energy sure. transition. Sure. Um, but we cannot avoid the, uh, I guess, the, the, the big news from this morning's session, which was that mm. everything is looking pretty pear-shaped in Ukraine. And that's really what people here at the conference have been talking about the most. Indeed. I think it's, it's hard to escape that that will be the, the first topic of conversation on everyone's lips this week. We've just had the UK today announce sanctions on... on, on um, Russian banks and, and some Russian citizens and of course the, the main uh, reaction in our market has been the, the meteoric rise in crude you know we're, we're touching $100 a barrel um, so that of course has a knock-on effect on, on all our markets uh, whether it's the refined products that we're talking about or other commodities that Argus is covering so um, yeah there's no escaping it I think that is the, uh, the, the subject of, of this week that, that will be being, be being discussed on the sidelines pretty frantically, I think. Um, one of the possibilities that we were looking at some weeks back was mm -hmm. what would happen if there were any sanctions that were affecting product flows sure. from Russia into Europe. Mm. We discounted that, I think, essentially, uh, it, like a lot of the market, I think, because, it, because, we're, because Europe is so dependent on those Russian product flows. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's a chance that that risk has now re-emerged? Certainly, yes. I think <clears throat> a few weeks ago, People seem to find the thought of Russia actually advancing on Ukraine to be completely out of the question. And now we're in a situation where that is completely believable, if not somewhat underway to a degree. So, yeah, I think our stance has to change on that. For now, <clears throat> I think it's, it's really this political news-facing angle that is helping underpin crude values, um, but which we heard today are in a marketplace that is actually very physically tight. The fundamentals are tight there. So yes, the issues in, in Eastern Ukraine have helped lift crude in recent days, but the fundamentals are there for that. Stocks are at eight year lows. We are recovering from COVID and demand is on the up for crude and products. And unless this escalates uh, uh, a great deal further, I can't see too much disruption to uh, supply flows. Okay, so no need to hit the panic alarm just yet. Not yet, not yet. Now, you touched on the recovery from uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. Mm -hmm. It's been very much in evidence here at this event. This is really the first big event, I think, that we've run in the post-COVID era. Mm -hmm. And it actually has been a wonderfully post-COVID atmosphere, hasn't it? It's been extremely well attended. It has indeed, yeah. So uh, this year, <clears throat> last year we ran a fully online event. This year we've been running a hybrid event and it's been really pleasing to see as you say, the atmosphere in the room, but the fact that there is an atmosphere <laughs> and there is a room. Uh, there's been a couple of hundred people in the room with us here today from uh, all over the industry. Uh, and I, I hear around a thousand people online as well watching, watching the fantastic presentations. So yeah, certainly it feels like we've turned a corner here. This isn't something that was imaginable last year. Um, and it is fantastic to be back in the room with the market, sharing ideas again. Um, long may that continue. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>